We're back! Yay! Yes, Westmount, it is actually happening. The Westmount Howl is back on the air and all is alive and well, including yours truly, Miss Walter. It seems like just yesterday, when the Westmount Howl was first launched in April of last year, it was our first ever experience with the emergency learning format from home. Well, I guess this special round of broadcasting could be known as our Comeback 2.0 series with an undetermined number of episodes. We will anxiously await the news on that front as we head into the next chapter of this adventure. We will take it as it comes, I suppose. If you are completely new to the Westmount Howell channel, you must know that this news is about sharing everything Westmount, anywhere from student recognition, general items and information, opportunities to become involved for pure entertainment, or a chance to feel connected to our school community. I mean, let's face it, you don't need a reason to watch, but there sure are a lot of reasons that you might want to. So I guess as we ring in a new year and a new series alongside our new format for learning, it would only be right to expect some new looks and perhaps even some new segments along the way. But rest assured, our show will still include your favorites and some familiar faces. Speaking of familiar faces, here is our very own principal and our source for all the bustling business of the office, Mrs. Shamoon, in our segment called View from the Office. Hi Westmount Wolves, I hope everyone is doing well during this week of at-home remote learning. I'm just here in the library at the school. You can see in the background, we're doing some tech preparation and tech deployment for our school students. So we hope everyone is well. And uh, of course, I couldn't leave you without having a joke for you. Why do the birds fly south in the winter? Because it's too far to walk. Hope you're having a great week. We'll see you soon. Thank you very much, Mrs. Shimon. I know that the birds weren't the only ones flying around this week. There are so many helping hands to thank for making sure that our technology flew home to students so they can have the resources they need for learning. So thank you to the staff of the Westmount Wolfpack for getting this important job done this week. It's time to take a moment to appreciate our holiday happenings. Before we jumped into the world of online learning, we had the chance to enjoy a two week break during this time, several of our families celebrated Christmas on December 25th, as well as New Year's on January 1st, marking our grand entrance into 2021. This may have been an entirely new approach to celebrating this year, owing to the fact that large parties and family gatherings didn't happen. However, we hope that you had a chance to relax and enjoy some uniquely quiet and quality time with close family and perhaps even discover some new traditions worth holding on to. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Westmount Wolves. to wish a big happy birthday to all the students that celebrated their birthdays over the holidays. We hope you enjoyed your day as much as possible and wish you a great year ahead. It is now time for our arts and entertainment. Many of our previous viewers have enjoyed the past musical shenanigans of our talented Miss Morton and yours truly. It all began with a simple COVID cover of a Beatles song and a friendly reminder to wash your hands. Well, eight songs later, and with the help of some guest musicians along the way, what can I say? We are a musical force for the stage. Oh, market? Oh, okay. Maybe the market. I know. Our summer busking career is yet to be established. Okay, but besides that, we recently wanted to spread another hopeful message during these times of uncertainty and isolation with the release of our newest cover, I'll Get By by Avi Coplin, seen here. 
It is a great reminder that we will get by with the help of others. So let's keep reaching out to one another and staying connected in the ways that we can. If you missed this release, all the music videos can be found on the West Mount Howell YouTube channel. In other arts and entertainment news, some of you may remember from last season, one of our West Mount Wolves, Isaac, that demonstrated some of his beginning drumming skills. Well, it would definitely appear that Isaac means business. Isaac is still at it and practicing, and man, has he made progress. I promise you, Isaac, there will be lots of work for you in the music room when things get back to normal. Way to go on all your continued hard work. It is certainly paying off. Well, we now have one week of back to school under our belts, or should I say, under our fingertips. And it is always great to be able to share what's been going on. But I have to admit, it's definitely trickier to track you down and see all of the amazing work that you are getting started with when most of it exists somewhere between routers, dedicated lines, protocol stacks, packets and passwords. Okay, I looked that up. I have no idea how the magic of the internet works, but when it does, it truly is magic. Somewhere between your Google Meets and assignments are some excellent connections and efforts that are being maintained and put forth. Mrs. Fallon had the chance to share a cool moment from one of her Google Meets last week with her students. Each student had a chance to showcase a word or statement as encouragement or just in celebration of the Westmount spirit. Here's a quick look. Thanks for letting us take a quick peek into your new classroom, Mrs. Ballon. Let's never underestimate the power of our united school spirit and the amount of joy that comes from being able to see one another face to face. I mean, screen to screen. I knew it. I knew it. Oh. We are lucky to be adding a new segment to our episode this week. All the way from our library and learning commons, here is Hitting the Books with Harding. Roll it. Hey Westmount students, uh, this is the library. It's empty right now, but we're looking forward to coming back, checking out all these books that I've got laid out here for you. Thanks for returning all those books before the break, as you can see. I've got them all empty. We had over 300 books returned on the Friday before we went for break. Uh, hopefully you've got a chance to read over the break and also to do a little bit of relaxing. For those uh, students that are in my Red Maple program uh, and the uh, Silver Birch, uh, thanks for submitting some of those uh, videos and uh, hopefully we can get some of these books signed out to you when you get back. Anyway, looking forward to seeing you back in the library and enjoy the rest of your uh, online school. Thank you, Mr. Harding. We look forward to seeing you in our Google Meets and hearing about some of the amazing books that are available for us to explore. Well, I know you've all been waiting, so I won't make you wait any longer. Here is Mr. Sanders with our look into the Fitness Forum. And thank you, Miss Walters. Welcome back, everybody, to the Fitness Forum. Um, I have a little bit of mixed emotion delivering this broadcast because it means if we're doing this broadcast, we are not at school together. I um, just wanted to take a second to remind everybody the importance of getting outside and being active each day during this time. My two boys are down the street playing a little bit of rollerball hockey and my wife and daughter have gone for a walk with our dog. Um, I really enjoyed the 
pictures and videos that students sent in with this week's theme of staying active. Um, as you can see, we have lots of outdoor activity going on, which is good for us both mentally and physically. I'm walking, and this is from Mr. Sanders. I'm, he, he posted a new video on Google, on Google Classroom, so I'm gonna be running, getting active. Next week, we're gonna get back to our challenges next week. Next week's challenge, actually all the challenges, are called Bring Sally Up. And they all revolve around a different type of exercise. So, I need you to check your Google Classrooms on Monday in terms of what the actual competition is and how you can submit your responses and pictures back to me. Okay, bring Sally up. Let's see if you can do it and take care and we will talk to you soon. Bye. So awesome to see so many of our students and families taking advantage of our great outdoors. Great to have you back, Mr. Sanders. And thank you very much for helping to keep our minds on staying active. Seeing some of our staff and students in the past few photos and videos has got me wondering, if most of the students and staff are not at the school, what on earth has been going on at Westmount? Huh. Seems like we're having some troubles connecting I bet that's a problem that many of us had to troubleshoot over this past week. In any case, we would like to thank all of the administrative staff for maintaining the warm presence of Westmount and for being the calm voices on the other end of phone calls and emails during this time away. As you may remember from last year's season of the Westmount Howl, we were lucky enough to get a front row seat to explore some of the happenings beyond the Westmount area in Embro. Thank you once again to one of our incredible ECEs, Miss Say. We get to take another look into the world beyond with this edition of the Rural Report. Hi, it's Miss Say with the Rural Report. Uh, I'm gonna do an update on the chickens since we're back to doing the West Mount Howl. Just gonna take you inside here and let you see some chickens. There's a nice up close picture of a chicken. And there they are, and there's their food and their water. They do require lots of water. Um, they're kind of grumpy because they feel like they're quarantined too. They can't go out in the cold weather, so it has to be above zero. So once it's above zero, we'll let them out. But um, yeah, my job this weekend is to clean the coop. So uh, that's the rule report. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. So much fun to experience this farm area with you, Miss Say, and your chickens. And so cool, and so cool this time around. Speaking of cool, I wonder how Mr. D'Amico is making out with our weather report these days. Mr. D'Amico, are you there? Okay, everyone, thanks for coming for today. Have a great weekend. Remember, send an email if you have any questions. Take care, see you later. Last Google Meet of the day. I just want to see something. I need some fresh air. Let's go check on the weather. I just want to see. Come on, let's go check the weather, sons. Let's go. Haven't seen the sun in a while. Hey, maybe this means that things have the potential to be looking a little brighter in the coming days. Thanks for checking in, Mr. D'Amico. And now a quick word from our sponsors. Oh, hey wolves. This week's West Mountain Howl is brought to you by our stuffed animals who are always there to cuddle when we're feeling stressed out. Dad, the Wi-Fi's out again. No, not again. Sorry, guys. Stuffed animals.
Well, Westmount, that is a wrap for our first episode of the Westmount Howl Season 2. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope that this brought you a bit of entertainment, perhaps a little escape, and a feeling of connection to an amazing community of Westmount that you are a part of. I'm so happy that we can be back on the air. Watch out for future opportunities and episode release dates. So you know how we roll by now. Check out your Google Classrooms or Brightspace. Check out the Westmount Facebook pages and Messenger emails for all the sharing details and up-to-date information on what might be yet to come. So, in the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, and keep on howling.